What's up guys, welcome back to Code Wizard, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to ignore files globally in Git. Now, normally in Git, if you wanna ignore files or folders in your local repo, you would simply create a dot git ignore file in the root directory of that particular project that you're working on. And then you can simply add files and folders that you wanna ignore in your project. However, there's many search situations where you might want to ignore a file or folder globally. And what I mean by this is Git will ignore these files and folders for every single project and repo you have on your machine. So to do this, we can actually add files to our global Git ignore file. Now, one uh, common file that can be very annoying, specifically if you're using a Mac, is the .ds underscore store file. And this file contains uh, different attributes and metadata that is automatically uh, created and it's a, pretty much invisible to the user. But when you go to commit, you'll see this file show up. So you can see I'm in um, a project called ignore and in this ignore, project I have project I have this ds underscore store file and what I want to do is ignore that file globally so to do that there's only two commands that you need to do in order to ignore specific files globally so this first command we're going to say is echo dot ds underscore store and then the file is called dot git ignore underscore global. Oops, there we go. I'm gonna press enter. And then once you type in that command, then you wanna type in git config dash dash global core dot excludes file dot git ignore underscore global press enter and then if we do git status again you can see that the dot ds underscore store file is no longer being tracked which is exactly what we want so just a quick review of the commands this echo command here this is basically adding dot ds underscore store to your dot git ignore underscore global file. And then this git config is simply setting up git to utilize this git ignore global file to ignore files and folders. Now, if you run into any issues, a common issue might be it may say that, oh, the dot git ignore underscore global file doesn't exist. If it doesn't exist, all you have to do is type in touch. So you basically have to create it. You'll type in touch dot git ignore global, and then that will create your uh, git ignore global file. And then you can basically write those commands from earlier and it should work. So again, this can be very useful, especially on your Mac, if you're dealing with dot ds underscore store and you wanna ignore that file globally. So you don't have to deal with this file for every single project. So the global git ignore file can come in real handy when it comes to that, these type of things. So if you have any questions, leave a comment down below, like the video, subscribe, and thanks for watching.